seeing is believing. Behind every data point, there is an individual human with intent taking certain action on your product. Hi everyone. I wanted to make this video today because as the CEO of a leading customer experience analytics solution, I get this question from product managers over and over again. What exactly does empathizing with users even mean? And how do you turn this practice into reality? So I thought I'd share these tips with all of you today. Here are the five actionable steps on building your product around your users. Step one, know that you know nothing. First, the entire organization needs a mindset shift. We've all heard of the famous line, it's not what you don't know that gets you into trouble, it's what you know for sure that just ain't so. This happens when you have too many opinions but can't validate them for sure. When you start without presumption, that's when you remove your biases about the customer wants and you're in a position to truly understand your users. Step two, auto capture your data. Now that everyone knows nothing, it's time to gather the entire user experience. If you haven't already seen it, check out my video on auto capture. When you use a mobile app analytics tool with auto capture, you're able to look at the mobile app experience through the scientific lens. Since everything is captured, you'll be able to objectively observe your user and build credible, testable hypothesis. Step three, maintain a single source of truth for the user's behavior. This part is easy. Use an analytics tool that combines qualitative and quantitative user data. Why? Because clean, consistent data builds trust. If product teams are stitching data together and you've been working in silos, it's hard for everyone else to trust the data. In 2023, product teams don't need to rely on analysts to untangle the data spaghetti. Simply use an analytics tool that has both product analytics and user behavior insight in one. This way, you can theorize from what you see in the conversion funnel, in the user journey, and validate the exact same data set with qualitative data that shows real user behavior. Step four, look for opportunities and pitfalls in your data. Now that you're auto capturing your data and have a single source of truth for your users, you'll be able to not just see that a certain button or a screen confuses or frustrate users, but also why. To do that, you can set up conversion funnel and see where users are dropping off. Automate alerts for customer frictions and frustration. See for changes in metrics like high quit rate, crash rates, and rage tabs. Create dashboards with key metrics so that your team can keep an eye on opportunities. Step five, put yourself in the shoes of your user. Now that you've got everyone looking at the same data, it's time to verify your hypothesis with qualitative data. Qualitative data like heat maps and session replays forces you to build empathy towards your customer. For context, here is what you can do with heat maps. See confusing UX design issue by filtering heat maps through rage tab when a user taps in the same spot multiple times. Identify broken buttons on your app by filtering unresponsive tabs. Observe gestures like if someone is trying to zoom into something that doesn't get bigger. Seeing is believing. Behind every data point, there is an individual human with intent taking certain action on your product. The combination of qualitative and quantitative analytics allows you to truly empathize with the individual user and deliver incredible experiences for them. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope these tips were useful. See you next time.